everybody. Welcome to Bourbon and Booze. It's Monday. I'm glad you're here. I am currently on vacation traveling around, but I filmed this early for you. And what did I film for you? A woozy of an episode. This is a spectacular find, and I can only pray that you're able to get your hands on it. But first, a really quick message from our partner, Rain Cane. So, uh, when I make uh, cocktails, I really like a good vodka, and we've used some different brands and everything. But we discovered Rain Cane just recently, and I poured you some. And Rain Cane is probably one of the best vodkas we've had. Yeah, it's been up there, because you can... No. <laughs> and you're not going to get any burn up your nose. Yeah, it's... And it's not low proof or anything it's 40 percent alcohol yeah it's an 80 proof common vodka um from uh alaska actually it's not from alaska it's from california but they use alaskan glacier water That's i, I think cool. that this is what vodka should be it is um non-aroma so it's not gonna odorless have, colorless odorless tasteless. colors it actually tastes really good to me it's got a yeah, but it's, not. it's a slight sweetness to it. Very, um, very slight. But it's not overwhelming. And I think this is what most bartenders look for in creating common um, cocktails. Now, yeah. if you're going to do a cocktail that requires a specific flavor profile that that vodka is going to intense or put into, like a flavored vodka, then that's yeah. different. But, but if you're wanting to make, say, a, a drink that also is alcoholic, but you don't want the alcohol to change the color, or... The, change the flavor with right. something weird and bitter, you use vodka because it's supposed to be that. It's bitter. supposed to be. And we've had people argue with us that no, vodka's supposed to taste like something. No, it's supposed to be odorless and tasteless. Well, yeah. And nothing's ever tasteless. Right. But. So, um, we yeah. like Rain Cane. Um, and you can get this in the store for about $34 uh, a bottle, depending on your store. You can also get it online through Rain Cane for $34. But what I really like about Rain Cane is that you can order it online, and the more bottles you buy, the cheaper it is. And you can get on a subscription. So maybe you want to get a bottle every week or every month or every six weeks or whatever. And the more you um, put on your order, the less each cost. So if you get more than one bottle, so you get two bottles, then it's down to $31. Um, and they ship just about everywhere. Yeah. Um, there'll be a link below, and that helps us out because we have partnered with them. And we will um, continue to use Rain Cane and a lot of our cocktails that require vodka that um, don't need a specific style of flavor to it. Um, but it's a great, great uh, vodka. I think it's probably my favorite right now. There's always changes, but um, now there's flavored ones I like too, but this is my favorite plain vodka and um, we'll continue to use it. So check it out and let us know what you think, but make sure you hit that link for your ability to get a discount through us on Rain Cane. All right, have a great day and we're gonna start making cocktails. Cheers. Cheers. All right, hopefully you are considering um, expanding your vodka uh, library and try Rain Cane. Make sure you hit that link in the description below because Rain Cane is a spectacular uh, and inexpensive vodka. All right, so today I have decided to pull through my back shelf one of the most amazing finds that something that... Um, my wife and Cody and I have been begging for, for probably going on four years now. And uh, they finally bottled it. They never had a bottle of it. And they finally bottled it and we were able to get our hands on it. And um, it is absolutely phenomenal. And will meet all your dietary breakfast needs. Right, Cody? And that is Acres. With a side of whiskey, too. Oh, with a side of whiskey. This is Acre Distilleries here in Fort Worth. This is Acre Distilleries Liquid Pancakes. And I am telling you, it tastes like liquid pancakes. It is amazing. So, uh, it is... Cody's raising his hand. Cody's raising his hand. 
preempt the ruling on this. That is worth taking a road trip to get. Oh. If you're in Texas, take a road trip to get it. If you're not in Texas, fly here, take a road trip to get it. You heard it from Cody. This is worth every bit getting into Fort Worth and getting your hands on. Pancakes in the... Or just a sweet liqueur. If you can find somebody coming through Fort Worth, ask them to get you one. So, this is... um, Basically, liquid pancakes. It is uh, 43% or 86 proof. So, it is a very high proof um, liqueur. It is, I believe, $40 on cost for this $750. There's no age statement at all. It's basically a very high proof cocktail liqueur. And we bought two bottles. Did you ever buy a bottle? Cody bought a bottle. Alex bought two bottles. I think Bree bought several bottles when it came out. Um, Used to be only able to get it as a cocktail at the bar, and they never bottled it. And so many people want it, including us, that um, Tony there at Acre Distillery finally bottled it. All right. So look at that color. A nice amber, light, light amber gold color almost like a champagne without the bubbles right away when you put it to your nose it smells very mapley very sweet and sugary it smells like a pancake uh, we have so many liqueurs on our shelf so many whiskeys especially scotches or which are really descriptive they talk about it smells like this it smells like that Um, And the liqueurs say it smells like that. And, you know, the maraschino kind of smells like maraschino, but it smells like other things. This is probably the most apt name with uh, liqueur. I was going to call it whiskey liqueur I've ever had. It is fabulous. Mmm. Very. (laughs) It's like a pancake and maple syrup. It's like they took a pancake and maple syrup and squeeze the living hell out of it till they got that juice and clarified it. That's what it tastes like. It's 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 almost like it's liquid pancakes. Yeah, it's like it's liquid pancakes. It is voodoo science how they came up with this. Um, but it is absolutely phenomenal. If we were doing barrel scales on this one through five, this would be a seven. This is the most spectacular liqueur. I've had for its kind of genre of sweetness. So in the beginning, about five years ago, when we first started, we got a maple whiskey from Canada called Sortele. And we really liked that. And we had this running gag. We even had shirts that said it's good on pancakes. You don't need pancakes with this. Wait, it's even more apt. Should I just stand up and go up here? Sure. Cody's coming over. So it's even more apt because all the things we said would be good on pancakes, you just mix it with this. By the way, it's pancakes. Even though it's the same color, Cody's not drinking a huge glass of it. I wish I was. <laughs> it's a little too rare. Yeah. Even though it's very affordably priced, from what mm-hmm. I remember. Well, you just you you take. I'm pretty sure I could call Tony and say I need a case of it, and he'd save me a case. So I don't know. This may be worth more than. <laughs> out of. I like Acre Distillery. They have a lot of really cool gins. I think gins are probably what they do the best, they in do. my opinion. But they also have they some... They do some good whiskeys. They have some spectacular whiskeys. Um, they struggled a little in the beginning, but they have some really good whiskeys. Well, that was yeah. their aging expressions, not their own. Once right. their own hit the shelf, it was a fantastic. They have some really good whiskeys. They're um, experimental whiskeys. They're experimental batches oh, yeah. that come out are hands down... Yeah. Great. Um, But they have some great whiskeys. I think their gins are probably what they are best at. Their vodkas are great. And now they have a rum, but I don't think we've tried the rum yet. Mm, No, I don't think so. And they also... No. We have it. We just haven't tried it. Hell's Half Acre. I think it's right behind you somewhere. I don't know where it's at, but... um, Oh, it's right there. Yeah. I don't know if we've tried it or not. However... um, their liqueurs, like the lemon bomb and the uh, or that orange bomb and the lemon cello, those are really good. The orange cello and lemon cello, yeah, 
Those are delicious. But the, uh, this is... Cinnamon Girl, which is right there between a whiskey and a We liqueur. use Cinnamon Girl a lot. But this by far, and that's a whiskey, this by far... Takes the cake. Takes the pancake. Takes the pancake. So, again, if you're ever in Fort Worth or you have friends running through Fort Worth, you need to stop at Acre Distillery in downtown Fort Worth. They're not sponsoring us. Tony, you're not sponsoring us, but you need to. They're not sponsoring us. Um, however, we love for them. a dessert, dessert liqueur, oh, yes. there is nothing better on this planet For a breakfast than liqueur, this. a lunch liqueur, a dinner liqueur, and then the dessert for all of us. If those. you had Brussels sprouts, I can't stand Brussels sprouts, you need that taste out of your mouth. Just go ahead and pour yourself can't a little. can't talk about it and we not have some. <laughs> all right, guys. Have a great Monday. Tomorrow we got some good whiskeys coming up. Wednesday is coffee. Thursday is another whiskey. And then Friday, Cody and I are back to doing some mixology with our cocktails. And I also hope to uh, arrive safely at home with another haul of really good stuff from here to Denver. Because I'll be back by the time that um, Wednesday, Thursday roll around. Um, but yeah. Excellent. Cheers. Have a great Monday. Bye. Cheers. Rough.